In the field of IT or information technology, I would hazard to guess that uh, marketing is becoming an increasingly specialized uh, discipline. Uh, someone who's coming to grips with that is uh, Zintle Modicelli, who is the General Manager, Marketing and Communications at the Big Business Connection Group. Welcome. Thanks very much for joining us. In that respect, how has your thinking had to change? How do you market modern IT these days? It's been a very interesting journey um, coming into groups with uh, marketing in an IT field, particularly in, in, in South Africa and Africa. Um, I'm coming from a space where I was working in an international company and um, now have moved into a proudly South African company. Um, and, you know, the interesting thing is that as as as, as a continent, um, we, we've moved a lot in terms of, of technology, and I think the nice thing about the continent is that we're looking at African um, solutions for African problems now, um, and that's how my thinking has had to change. And has that has that approach changed your uh, thinking in terms of marketing? Though? Have you have you had to adopt a different kind of strategy? Absolutely, I think um, now I've had to understand how us as African people think, um, our natural psychology, um, and 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 what speaks to us, and that's that proudly Ubuntu thing that although we're studying in technology and marketing technology at the at the um, you know intrinsically it's, it's about the person it's about the people it's about Simply, the community. That's very interesting because I always thought that information technology or IT was a universal language yet you're saying there's almost a different marketing DNA as far as this continent is concerned. Absolutely. I think wow. although it's a universal language in terms of how we we see technology and how we can use technology, but I think intrinsically as, as Africans, um, we use technology to connect a lot more with each other um, and to connect to the world versus using technology, you know, where it's more kind of intrinsic, where Fair I'm enough. using so that, it So that's myself. the broad thinking. So what specific strategies have you had to implement? The specific strategies that we've had to implement is, although we're in a technology space, I think what I've seen is that we've become more and more the need to speak face to face, um, use technology to spread the message wider. But at the end of the day, I think as marketers and as people, um, we need to still have those face to face conversations. We still need to understand each other as people and we need to still understand the need um, that technology fulfills to me as a person versus just using technology. All right, so how is all of that filtering into this very exciting thing called M what or my world of tomorrow. So my world of tomorrow um, from a business connection perspective is the reason that we bought it, um, we, we really put it together is because I think it's the realization that in Africa, we need to have African solutions. Um, and we need to come together, whether it's public sector or private sector or a community, um, you know, and, and entrepreneurs and innovative thinkers, we actually need to come together and have a platform where we can actually start to speak and start to explore how we should be using technology And that's better. the broad intention of, of, of my world of tomorrow. Absolutely. Um, and although we are absolutely showcasing the best and the greatest from all over the world, I think at the end of the day, it's about bringing it back home. So what South African delegates to this conference be taking out of something like that? The South African delegates, the key thing that they need to take it out of it is how do we start to use technology better to empower ourselves to start to have solutions that we can use for our economy for well, our surely people. Surely we're making good inroads in that respect. I mean we're not we're not technologically uh, behind the curve in this country are we? No we're not mm. and um, even in the rest of the continent and if you look especially when you start to look at youngsters um, and the you know the, the, the kind of solutions that some of the younger people are, are bringing up, you know, using broadcast or, or telescopes or um, even the young men who's um, invented the, the dry bath. Um, that shows, that, it, it is, yeah. it's mm. so fascinating, but I think at the end of it, it shows that we've got the right thinking and we've got, you know, the right DNA to be able to come up with these solutions. But I think where it comes to is how do we nurture that um, as, 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 as private companies that have got the money to put behind these guys. And simply very quickly, this thing called the Internet of Things, where, where does that fit into all of this? You know, the Internet of Things, is, is it's, 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 it's a trend, but I think it's becoming a trend that's becoming a reality where everything